All right, what's up dudes? Um, this, this video, I think it's gonna be a little bit, uh, we did part one and two, we're gonna put part three and four together in one video, cause both the camping module and the Yules module are a little bit, uh, they're short, so. Um, I guess let me kick this off by saying, here's, this is food, water, uh, ammunition, everything. This weighs uh, 35 pounds in the Yules. Um, in the Yules, whatever that means. <laughs> this is this is the Yules, and this is what I would be taking to the woods most likely in its entirety. Even though it's it's basically the base bag with the camping module and the Yules module, and uh, about 300 rounds of 22, right? So, put that aside here. And with the ammo, everything weighs 35 pounds, so we're at our weight limit. Now, um, as you know, it's gun, gun, the bag is not gun specific, so I brought this out for, because this is the whole Yule setup. I'm definitely taking a 22, without a doubt. <coughs> So we'll kick this off. Part number three, the camping bag. So this is the camping module. Uh, it wasn't a black bag, I switched it out to a green bag. This is going to be surprisingly simple. These are the, the comfortable necessities as I call them. If I want to be comfortable, I need a hammock. Check. What else we got here? Sleeping bag. 30 degree bag. I've slept in down to 30 degrees. This is more like a 40 degree bag, really. But with all my wool on inside this motherfucker, easily a zero degree bag. Easily. Put the, we'll put the old hammock on top here. And last but not least, flip-flops that I made some some kind of like sandals they're romanized now I had a guy I had a guy that like I think it was Moab who was interested in these things so I'll bring them up close here um, I basically where are we at get you in the sunlight okay so I basically normally I roll around they're just flip-flops uh, it's an old flip-flop sole that I poked two holes in here one hole there, one hole there, one hole there, one hole there, that's four holes. And then one that was already uh, a hole up here. And so I wrap this shit around. Normally this is how we roll, but what you can do, well I guess I won't do it for you, but I'll, I'll show you, I'll explain it to you. Uh, this is just duct tape right here, right? Go in between the toes. Now you see how this is, has a paracord coiled around another paracord? What I do, is when I need some more traction, I will uncoil it and it comes on down and you can see right here is where it goes across the bottom, right? These are just secure, these are just knots on the bottom. But uh, so it goes across, comes out up here. So you have these two long strands that you can wrap around and tie up on top of your calf, right? I call it Roman style. I don't know if it is, but I see a lot of Romans wearing shit like that. So, there you go, Moab. Those are the sandals. Bada bing, bada boom. And that's it for the camping module. The camping module weighs a, a, a whopping four pounds. It's like four point something pounds. So, with the base bag, if it's time to go camping, I just grab the camping module throw some beers, some whiskey, some cigarettes, some cigars in, some some brats, and we'll be good to go. We'll, we'll, we'll probably weigh in at what, like 30 pounds, 32-ish pounds, so boom, camping bag, 32 pounds. All right, on to the Yules module. All right, the quote-unquote Yules module, Yules, Yules module, it's quite simple. Um, 
I want to get another 9 liter bag instead of the 20 liter for the Yules module because it just doesn't need a 20 liter sea line dry bag. So I like those little 9 liter ones for the modules aspects because they have to all fit in my bag. Oh, by the way, all the modules, everything in the bag, um, we're looking at uh, without ammo, 30, plus 38 pounds. So that's the bug out module, the Yules module, the camping module, the base bag, without ammo, 38 pounds. Not a bad weight for fucking everything. I guess that would be more the inch bag. But anyway, so I've been looking for a, I'm keeping them in a Walmart bag right now. <laughs> so here's what we got in the Yules module. We got uh, gloves. As I've been reading about all the kind of fucked up diseases that all these fucking animals have in the woods or could have, uh, a lot of them are transmissible um, by, you know, blood to blood contact or saliva to open wound contact. And I, ha I get a lot of wounds on my hands, you know, just working out in the woods. So um, for skinning game, gloves, nice pair of gloves. Uh, let's see if I can open this up here. Okay. We have three traps. I think three. Okay, so I've been doing some like ex preliminary trapping. Basically, I've been putting a trap in the woods <laughs> and checking on it every day. And uh, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure even if I'm an expert, it's gonna take more than one trap to keep me in meat like every other two days, right? So I got three traps here. Um, these are do. These are 1.5 coil springs, and this is a dog proof. Ultimately, they'll all be dog proofs. Just don't have the money to get them yet. So, three traps. Uh, bait box. So, when I catch, you know, like a raccoon or something, we'll chop out his fucking liver and his heart and his lungs if we're not, like, really hungry. Put them in here. Save them as fucking, you know, let them rot up a little bit because that's, uh, that's what scavengers like. They like that rotten smell, you know. So, um... While I'm carrying around rotted meat, which by the way I've carried around before in here, you can kind of smell it through here. When you get really close, you can smell there's rotted meat in there. But when the PDK is all the way closed, you can't. It's not gonna like stink up my fucking bag or anything. So uh, bait box, boom. You gotta have bait. Minna. The whoa shit. I'm losing it. I'm losing everything. Minna traps. Y'all already saw a video on this on the 20 degree day hike. We caught some minnows with these. Just two, two, two liter bottle minnow traps. You could probably add a third one in there without any kind of volume or weight, you know. So we got a minnow trap. One pair of gloves, three traps, a minnow trap, a bait box. Fishing kit. Hooks, sinkers, all that kind of crazy hand, uh, all the shit we need to hand line. And limb line from are right in here. And last but not least, the uh, uh, sewing kit. I've got a bunch of needles and you know thread and uh, buttons and clothes pins and shit like that. So uh, that's the Yules module, Brosafinas. Um, and that's it. Those are the four modules for my bag. Uh, I guess that's all I was going to do today is showcase that, so I guess you guys get two short videos today. <laughs> so, well, there you go. All that, and like I said, both the modules, the camping and the Yules module, I'll probably take for actual Yules Inc. That's 35 pounds. This Yules module is Yules, used for Yules Inc. and trapping. You know, when we go, pra we got to practice trapping before we fucking learn how to trap, right? Um, and, you know, all in conjunction with the base bag that you've seen. And that's it. That is the current up-to-date progress of the Yules. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with the modular concept. Uh, it, it really allows, you know, the switching out of the bags and makes, it, makes the bag really versatile. You know, that combined with the jacket... Right, 36, 36 uses 
four seasons, nine different uses. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna go sight this this scope in now. Salud. <laughs>